page right so with our big images coming in here next we're going to add in some css and style so for now i'm just going to use the customizer to make this a little quicker then i'll transfer the css into our plugin so i'm just going to come here and the first thing that i'll do is i'm going to style the gallery dash grid and what i'm going to do is i'm just going to display and add grid uh, and then the next thing that i'm going to do is uh, add grid template columns which is going to separate our page into four pieces so i'll use the repeat function and say i want it to repeat four times but i'm uh, sorry i'm going to auto fill this so it should take up as should fill in as many pieces as it can and i'm going to use a uh, min max and say i just need this to be about 250 pixels minimum size and then it will do the one fr for where where it needs to be so you realize now the pieces are becoming smaller next thing that i'm going to do is actually restrain this and say i want the height of this particular block to be 200 pixels so we have that coming in clean uh, next uh, what we're going to do is now we need to start adding some our image sets we need to get our image set and then also style it up so the image set we know we're going to need it to be at the height of 200 pixels so that it suits uh, <coughs> It's, it suits uh, its box that it has. I'll just add this in so that we can see more of what's happening here. So this is what we are styling, image set. And then I'm just going to go for any overflow that goes past Y should be hidden. So we just have one, two items actually coming in here. So when we click on it, we actually see the different items. What we're going to do here is actually just adds a few things to make this uh, uh, possible. So I'll just uh, add some display here to make this a block, to make this display block, display block. It takes up a uh, hundred percent of the width which is good next is we're going to go into the the a tag that's inside there the link so we'll do dot image dash set a for a tag and we're going to display block to allow our link to go full 100% because by default the a tag <coughs> is a it's an inline element so we display block and then we'll go for width 100% just to remove all doubt the height will be 100% too so our item as you see in blue is fully set and then next we're going to do that image dash set img for the image and we're going to first of all display it by block the next we're going to go for width and make it a hundred percent the next we're going to do the height hundred percent and that constrains it but we have a beautiful property here object fit to cover which will make sure that everything fits nice and fit uh, well and we don't have any stretches coming in our page so the little each that is there for us is that there is no space in here and i can just, just go back to our display grid here and i'll add grid gap of one room and that will give us space right in between uh there i can just push this up to two to make it look better and our light box is actually working like it should be. 
if I cause this out to give us more real estate, we realize this is uh, working beautifully and that is what we need. So if I decide to inspect the elements, we're going to realize that what we have here is the same as we had when we were looking at our light box right here. So we're just duplicating it now that we have more dynamic data coming into this particular set. So finally, I'm just going to move this information. I'll just cut it and then uh, click publish here. We don't want it to be just title thing. We're just going to go back into our assets here, into our CSS. I'm going to open a new file and call it uh, leetbox.css and I'll just add all that CSS in here and save. And what we're going to do next is just go back and enqueue that CSS just like we did right here. So I'll just duplicate this and then I'll call this uh, uh, leetbox gallery uh, style. So this is in here. This is going to be lit box with CSS, um, just like we've named it here. And then once we are done, we can save that. And if we come back here and just view our website, it works perfectly. So we have Lightbox. Uh, we don't need any other plugins that bring in a lot of bloat. We are showing our our JavaScript and our CSS the, the WordPress way. And there's only one thing if you realize is that we have eight items in this image and that is coming from our light box. When we set light box, we are supposed to have the data light box set uh, in the right way. Um, we need to separate them into different albums. And that is quite easy. Um, I know that of something that is very unique. All we need to do is just come back here instead of having example set. What we're going to do is just say gallery. And then we are going to, what I'm going to do is actually very sneaky. I'm just going to also get this ID and then store the unique ID of each individual post. So what I'm going to do here is just get this particular code and paste it here. And all I'm going to do is just change this ID and save. So once we do that and reload, our particular pages are just going to have exactly what we need. So there were four items in our non food. And once that is done, there's nothing more to do. You can go back, but there's no more going forward. And then the food items are specific to only food, and they are also four. So that's what it's supposed to be. In the event that we have our website, if we need to add another image set, so we're going to call this a gallery three. And what we're going to do is we're going to add some images here. I'm going to go create. And then I'm going to try to upload and just look for some images from my computer. And if I pick about four of these and open them and allow them to log into <coughs> the website, so the dropping, opening, opening. Once I'm done, I add that, randomize them, give them a large size attach them to a media file because we just need the, the, the URL and then publish. Once that's done, if we reload right here, we're going to have our other item coming in. So all this information is dynamically coming in. We can decide to be able, instead of having this only sticking to our front page, we can actually write a short code for it and then we can be able to put it on any page or any widget that we do get in our website. So that will be the next step. Um, I hope you'll be ready for that video. Um, stay tight, stay seated. Please subscribe to um, this channel. 
If you like it, there is a button right in the corner. Just click it and subscribe. Or you can watch the other videos that are available um, on this channel. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Uh, if you like the channel, subscribe to it. And feel free to ask any questions. Please let me know what challenges are you having. Uh, what things are you working on that probably needed something that is a custom plugin. And we could be able to write one that has a very simple solution, very straightforward, and that is tapping into the WordPress ecosystem.